President Trump's executive order to end family separations at the border does not include a plan to reunite the more than 2,300 children who've already been taken from their families. Health experts, including the American Medical Association, are warning of the trauma that separation can have on these children, not just now, but throughout their lives. Joining us now, CNN chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay, as we look at this, so this letter from the AMA, they're saying very clearly they should not be separated. And they talk about the lasting impact, saying families seeking refuge in the U.S. already endure emotional and physical stress, which is only exacerbated when they're separated from one another. It's well known that childhood trauma and adverse childhood experiences created by inhumane treatment often create negative health impacts that can last an individual's entire lifespan. What kind of things are we talking about? Because it goes beyond just the... I'm not feeling good, I miss my parents part of it. Oh, it, it, right, and the American Pediatric Association, American Association of Pediatrics echoed those comments as well, saying this goes against everything you know, we sort of do as pediatricians. There are long-lasting effects. We're, we're talking about something that's known as toxic stress, and, and there have been people who've been talking about this concept for years, but, but the, the basic gist of it is this. You go through some stressor in life, and you have these physiological changes that occur in your body, when you're a young child, especially a child under the age of five in particular, those stressors are really buffered by being with a parent, being with someone who's actually providing a, a, a sort of sense of comfort, something to actually alleviate that stress. If you have both these things, so the significant rise in stress without the buffering, that's the toxic stress. And that's what they're specifically talking about that could cause these longer lasting uh, effects on the body and the brain. I was really struck by the fact that if you look at mental health disorders in adulthood, uh, about a third of them uh, originate from a toxic childhood event. That's what the, the data will show. And then there's a whole host of other physical effects as well. I think we have a list of things that basically are correlated with adverse childhood adversity and specifically this sort of toxic stress. And look, these may be things that you think, well, how is that related exactly? Heart disease, lung disease, smoking. Some of that is because people will start to self-medicate mm -hmm. to try and alleviate the toxic stress. They don't have the buffering anymore from their parents, so they learn to, to, to self-medicate. And others because the body actually changes in response to this toxic stress. Some of this I've learned about from talking to some of these folks who deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis, but this is real. We're, we're seeing an example of it, but this has happened uh, you know, throughout time. There was a, there's understandable concern, and there, and there should be focus on, on children of all ages, but there's been a lot made about these tender age facilities yes. and babies and toddlers. We can't ignore, though, the fact that a large number, at least according to HHS, of the kids that we're talking about right now are between the ages of 13 and 17. Those are pivotal years for kids. How is it different when you are a teenager, when you are at this point in adolescence? Well, it, it's interesting. So first of all, if you look at the what's called the ORR, the Office of Refugee mm -hmm. Resettlement, most of the data is primarily on adolescents. And the way that they sort of categorize it is people who are actually able to walk across the border. Unaccompanied. Unaccompanied. Not who have been, exactly, who have been separated. Right. They ha as opposed to people who, who are, are tender age. They just, they haven't as we look through the, the resettlement data, there isn't a lot just on ch children that young. So on the adolescents, it's, it's a lot of the same factors. You still have the, the component of toxic stress. These are still young kids. They lose sense of trust within a few days. They won't actually be able to respond as well, even if they're reunited with their parents. It's amazing they lose a sense of trust within just a few days. Within a few days. Again, it's because they have these two things that are happening simultaneously. Yeah. This increase in stress and this lack of some sort of buffering of that stress that they've trusted throughout, throughout their life. I know there have also been these studies that have been written about, too, that focus on how these traumatic moments impact boys and girls differently. Yes, absolutely. And, and I think we have, some, we have some data showing basically who's coming across the border, how it breaks down by gender specifically. But yeah, it's, it seems to break down and it also breaks down by who actually is leaving them as well. Mm -hmm. Is their mother or father leaving them? You can see the age breakdown. You can see the gender breakdown there as well. But it does seem to have an impact. But you know, when you get into that smaller, that younger age group, there just isn't a lot of data on, yeah. on people that young, certainly not from, from ORR. Certainly doesn't mean that there's not a lasting impact. It, the, the term child abuse has been used a lot over the last few days. Is that a legal term? Is it a clinical term? It, it is a, it's interesting because I heard the term as well and people were using it. I went to HHS specifically and asked them how they define it. You can look at the definition. There is a medical definition of child abuse. Um, anything that basically incurs some sort of emotional trauma on a child, 
uh, physical trauma, obviously, if that is coming from a caretaker, if it is coming from someone who's a parent, obviously. Those are the definitions. So clearly, an emotional trauma incurred, especially at this age, their definition, their own definition, mm -hmm. is that this constitutes child abuse. So it's, it's, it's pretty clear.